up next, Candice Bergen. The following program is classified PG. Parental guidance is recommended for persons under the age of 15. You're watching Fox Classics. Recommended for persons under the age of 15. You're watching Fox Classics. I think we've been had. Did you miss me? There I am. Well, what's your hurry? A baby is missing. Yeah! Buy her bag? What do you mean? You mean you bought Heather from her? She kidnapped her own baby. <laughs> you know what? Are you going to take my baby away from me? There she is. They ain't never going to catch us, honey. Back off so she can slow down. We can't lose that baby. Do you like that one, Heather? <laughs> Which one will it be? The blue one or the yellow one? Blue's prettiest. Do you think so? Not me. It's your baby. And see how she loves that blue one? Oh, well, if you love this blue hat, then this is the one we'll buy. Could you send this home to please? I'll be happy to, Mrs. Jensen. I'll be with you in a moment. It's not hurry for me. I got five months to go yet. Are you pregnant? Yes, ma'am. I got my heart set on having a little girl just like yours. <laughs> Did you hear that? Something like this should be safe, huh? Well, well, rattles always are, particularly yellow. <laughs> we'll send that out to you Thursday, Mrs. Jensen. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Now, may I help you? Yeah, I, I'd like this, please. Cash or charge? Ready? Cash. Oh, here. Oh. Oh.
This was made for you, Mr. Jenner. Your color, the style, and these flowing lines. Mm, I don't know. Uh, why don't you try it on? Hmm? Uh, hmm. But you, you're such a big girl. Hi. Oh, hi. I bought the yellow rattle. Oh, that's nice. Um, what do you think of this? Oh, well, that's about the prettiest dress I ever saw. Oh. <laughs> on your figure, Mrs. Jensen? Why did you try it on? No, 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 I like it, but, uh... I, I could watch a baby for you. Oh, listen, are you sure you don't mind? No. And don't you worry about it. I know how to take care of babies. I got five brothers and four sisters, and I'm the oldest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mrs. Jensen. Okay. Heather? You be a good little girl, Heather. Mommy, be right back. Right back. This way. Thank you very much. All right. Take your time. Okay. <laughs> Did you miss me, Mary Ann? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch it out, heads up, back straight. Good, good. Stretch it out, stretch it out. Good. Keep stretching it out. Okay. What we're really working up to is we're going to be working up to this exercise. Excuse me, I uh, hate to interrupt. Could I see Miss Anderson, please? Bill, did you come all the way down here just to see all these girls in tights? <laughs> no, I uh, came down here to keep you from breaking your neck. Uh, let's get a cup of coffee. I got a friend of yours here. Okay. Hello. Mark. Hi. It's been a long time. How good to see you. How have you been? What are you doing down here? You haven't seen the kidnapping report. Mr. Jensen's baby's been kidnapped. Heather has been kidnapped? Oh, no. I'm so sorry. What can I do? You see, naturally, Donna's blaming herself for what happened, and uh, I'm Mr. so... Mr. Jensen wants to talk to you, I I'm, I'm so afraid what she might do. She asked to see you. Would you please come and see her, Pepper? Oh, sure. Is it all right, Bill? It's okay. We'll get somebody to work on your case. I told the doctor that I, I didn't want to have tranquilizer till I talked to you first. But he insisted, so I'm, I'm sorry. I, I may not make any sense. You're making sense, Donna. Now, please, just tell me. <laughs> oh, how could I have been so stupid? You weren't stupid. You did what any mother would do. It was the natural thing to do. You know how Mark is so crazy about Heather? How he loves Come children. on, Donna, please. Come She's on. Gone. Come on. Oh, my God. We're gonna find her, but you're gonna have to help us. When, when, when did you first, when did you first notice her? Did she seem to be following you through the store, or what? Um... I, it, this may sound silly. Maybe, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Come on, Donna, stay with me. But this morning, when I left the house, I noticed um, in my rearview mirror uh, um, one of those little foreign cars, and there was um, there was a girl driving it with a, like a little green outfit on or something. You mean she followed you all the way from here to the store? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Mark? Yeah? Do you know who Heather's natural mother is? No. Then the mother wouldn't know who adopted the baby, would she? No, I don't think that the adoption agency would give out that information. Why? Hmm. Crazy notion I've got. Who arranged for the adoption, did you? No, no, after we tried every regular adoption route, we, we gave up. You know, it's the same old problem. Too many applicants and too few babies. And then this junior associate in my law firm, he knew about a private adoption agency, so uh, 
He'd handle all the details. Could I meet him? Dennis? <laughs> sure. He's asked at least a dozen times if he could meet you. I, uh, I showed him a picture I took of you, uh, at Newport Beach. Oh. Remember? In front of Udo's. Can you call him? Yeah, sure. I, I think he's still in the office. Would it help if I offered a reward? It might. Hello, Cindy. Is Dennis there? Yeah, I'll hold him. You know, what worries me is how they're treating Heather. Six months ago, when she was born. Mary Ann, say hello to Thelma. <laughs> now you say hello to her, Thelma. Hello. Uh, Look at her. She's just a spitting uh, image of her daddy. You know who her daddy is? Of course. Scott, my husband. You married? Well, of course. How could I have a baby if I wasn't married? Don't make me answer that in front of the kid, huh? This, uh, husband of yours, where is he? He's in the Navy. Didn't I tell you? He's due home on leave day after tomorrow. No. You didn't tell me, Tammy. I should have thought I did. Where you been hiding, uh, Mary Ann, is it? Mm-hmm. Named after my prettiest cousin. That's where she's been staying. At her house. She lives right here in town. But I went to see her every day after work. Didn't I, honey? Yeah. I thought sure I told you that. No. No, there are a lot of things you didn't tell me. Sergeant Anderson? Oh, yes. Hello. Come with I suppose Mark told you. Uh, he caught me just as I was leaving the office. Yes, he did. Hope you don't mind me being here. No, it's all right. I, uh, I figured whatever you wanted couldn't wait until the morning. Am I right? Um, would you care for something? No, uh, thank you very Nothing, much. Nothing, thank you. You and Mark were a thing at one time. Isn't that right? Uh, Dennis, this is not a social call. I need some information about Heather's adoption, and I need it fast. Yeah. That's well, a terrible thing about the kidnapping. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that uh, all my files are in the office. Then shall we go to your office? Now? Yes, right this minute. Well, what's your hurry? A baby is missing. That's my hurry. Now, you arranged the adoption. Who, what, where? I need some answers. Suppose I said you're pretty when you're angry. Suppose I punch you in the nose. <laughs> now, about the adoption. Was it legitimate? What I deal with some shady black market for babies, especially for one of my senior partners. Don't make me answer that. What kind of a deal did you make? Look, I wish you wouldn't call it a deal. It was all very legal, everything above board. Except for the under-the-table money, plus your big fat fee, that it? Look, my dear lady cop, I don't apologize for my lifestyle to anyone. I like the way I live, and it takes money. Who made the arrangements with the natural mother? Did you meet her? I might have. Do you know her name? The adoption agency would know that, but they uh, won't tell you. Well, let me handle that. You just give me the name of the agency. I don't remember. You don't remember. I wonder, if you had a little boy who came home from the office one day and he just wasn't there, what you'd do? I can also get a court order to search your files. You win. I'm remembering. It is after hours. And even if it weren't, I can't let you examine those files. They are strictly confidential. 
Uh, don't you understand? A baby has been stolen, and it's possible those files could lead us to the kidnapper. I don't see how. Maybe you could see if we look at the Jensen file. No. Unless you get a court order, which I doubt you can, no one sees those files. Now you'll have to leave. I'm late getting home. Prudence will be furious with me. She always wants her milk and cat food at precisely six o'clock. I hope your sister enjoys her meal. So they do the best they can. What's the best they can? I don't know, late this afternoon, maybe even tomorrow. Why does it take so long to get a measly little court order? Well, who said it? The wheels of justice grind slowly? I did, and it's no source of comfort. <laughs> this lawyer fellow must have fried you pretty good. Chris. This $10,000 reward that Mark Jensen's offering, did he discuss that with you? He talked about it. Hope the right person sees it. continents of the world probably contain more than a hundred billion birds. The Birds, Friday, 8.30. Fox Classics. Ho, ho, ho! Rush into Kmart now for the biggest Christmas deal yet with 30% off clothing, excluding underwear and sleepwear. Wow, that's a huge range of men's, women's and kids' clothing at a whopping 30% off. But hurry it ends this Sunday. Kmart, cutting the cost of living. Do you recognize this man? Well, maybe you'll recognize him better with his clothes off. Full frontal, you naked. I gotta get me some of this. It's true, blondes do have more fun. Especially on this show. I'm Candy. You're a candy striper. Are you ready for more sex? Ladies, I'm taking a lover. You tell me how to get the chemistry class. I have to have you immediately. Are you ready for more Smith? He did something to me that was so perverse. That's horrifying. Dirty boy. Sex in the City. I got a little something for you. The entire final series. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I beat cancer. I can take on the world. I'm in Paris. Sex and the City, the entire final series, this December, weeknights at 8, uncut, uncensored. What if I had never met you? W is more programs, less interruptions. too, but her name's Mary Ann. I just washed out a little dress for her. I'm gonna have to get her some new things, though, so she looks real pretty for her daddy. That dress, pink, two ducks. That's the way the newspaper described the dress that Heather Jensen of TV and newspaper fame was wearing when she was kidnapped by a young woman that fits your description to a T, Tammy Darling. Thelma, honey, what are you talking about? Knock it off. You know what I'm talking about, honey. I wasn't born yesterday. <gasps> Unfortunately. Look, um... I ain't been doing too good lately. Bread-wise. I need the bread back yet. Look, it'll be easy. We'll split 50-50. Well, you can't try to collect the reward. I mean, they'd recognize you, right? But who knows me? 
I, I found the kid on the doorstep. Who put her there? Oh, who knows? Uh, and, then, and then I remember this uh, Jensen kidnapping thing. I call the number offering the reward, and then they rush right over here. And the father, all the reporters, and they say, here you are, ten grand. And our undying gratitude for... Oh, well, well then I meet you, or, or I mail you five grand. What do you say, Jen? A deal? No! Get out of here, Get out of here. All right, I'm going. But don't ever say I didn't give you a chance to get your shit. You're gonna be sorry, kid. that's offering a $10,000 reward for a missing baby? Yeah. Yeah, well, I got some information. There's this lady who lives in my apartment building. No. No, I'm telling you, it fits the description exactly. I just saw the baby. Yeah. My baby. Who is it? I didn't steal her. She's my very own baby. Hello? Thelma was calling about a kidnapped baby, one in the newspapers. She was talking to the baby's father at the time. She never mentioned it. I mean, you don't know where she could have seen this baby, then. Eh? You know, funny thing, I thought I heard a baby crying the other night, and I said, no, it's got to be Mrs. McCreary's cat. It's next door. She keeps cats, six of them. At first, you thought it was a baby, right? Yeah, that's right. Could the sound have come from this apartment? You know, it's a crazy thing, but I thought it came from Thelma's room. I mean, crazy. She entertains a lot of men in her apartment, not any babies that I know about. It could have come from downstairs. Just below? Yeah. Who lives down there? Tammy Swanson. Lives alone. I don't know what she does for a living, except she's always late with her rent. Hey, come to think of it, let's go have a look. I want to see if everything's in one piece. Uh... Maybe we'd better wait. I tell you, I don't have a warrant. Oh, she's... wait, what for? She's four days late in her rent. Maybe she skipped through the furniture. Come on, let's look. Listen, if she's taken off with anything, I want you to make a report. I'm sick and tired of being ripped off. You hear? Yeah, uh, look, we're conducting a kidnapping homicide investigation here, so since we don't know where that might take us, but I appreciate it if you just wouldn't touch anything, all right? All right. Sure looks like she's moved. Didn't even give notice. Uh, don't touch it, okay? Just leave it there. You know, she shouldn't have done that. I mean, she should have given notice. Yeah. Uh, don't touch the towels. Just don't touch anything, okay? Okay. Hey, what's this? Whatever it is, lady, don't touch it, all right? My name's Tammy. T-A-M-E-E. -E. My mother hey. never could have by the letter Y. That's because when she was a little girl, there's this little boy next door who kept shooting her all the time with a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> see what she means. Oh, uh, I'm Jim McGruder. Hi, Jim. This is my wife, Ann. Hi. And this is Jennifer. I wish we could help you find a cheap apartment, but in this neighborhood, no such thing. Really? There's nothing? Especially with a child. <laughs> Don't we know? I'm so tired. I've been driving for days trying to get here before my husband's ship gets in. It's due in tomorrow. Jim, what about the sofa in the living room? Sure. Stay with us tonight. You mean it? If you don't mind the sofa the Salvation Army rejected, you're welcome. <sighs> I wouldn't mind no haystack in a barn. Fact is, on the way up here, I was looking for an old barn to stay in, but doesn't seem to be too many out this way. It's all very legal. I recognize a court order when I see one. Not that I agree with it, but I obey the law. Frankly, I don't consider my files any business of the police, especially a police woman. Oh. I sure hope this ain't too much bother. Oh, no. It's just as easy feeding two babies as it is one. I hope the sofa wasn't too uncomfortable last night. Oh, I slept like a log. Oh, there. Oh, thanks. Listen. 
I really appreciate all you're doing for me. Honest, I do. Oh. Well, now you better hurry up or you'll miss his boat. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Now, you'll be a good girl, you hear me? You'll be a good girl. Mommy be back soon. Bye. I won't be too long. You take your time. Yeah. Yeah, I... Captain, I appreciate your problem. I... Look, I'd just like you to appreciate my problem. You see, man, it's virtually impossible to surround a warehouse with two men. Uh-huh. Yeah, thank you. You won't believe that conversation. I believe anything. Listen, I think I have a lead on the Jensen case, a girl named Tammy Swanson. Spelled T-A-M-E-E, -E, right? I just pulled her police record two minutes ago, Tammy Swanson. Right now, it looks like she's the one who stabbed the woman trying to call Mark Jensen about the reward. Her fingerprints were all over the scissors and a can of talcum powder I had to wrestle from the hands of a very nosy landlady. I was right. She kidnapped her own baby. Hi, honey. Well, what are you doing here, huh? I told you I'd see you at the apartment when I get out. I know, but I moved. So I had to come here. I'm staying with the nicest couple you ever did see. Anne, that's the wife. She's babysitting our little Mary Ann right now. Oh, and I told a little white lie, and I don't think you'll mind. I told him you was a sailor coming in on a ship. I mean, it doesn't make any difference if they think that. Mary Ann? Now, who in hell is Mary Ann? Don't you remember? We always said we'd name her Mary Ann. And she's so cute. You just can't believe how cute she is. I thought maybe tonight you, me, and her could get a little motel room down by the ocean somewhere. Wouldn't that be fun? Just three of us, huh? Uh, you got the apartment number where you're staying at? Yeah. I wrote it down in case I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Well, I guess I'll, I'll wait out in front for you, huh? Oh, no, no, no. You'll wait at that address. You understand? All right. You want me to? Won't it be fun, honey? Just the three of us. It's her. That's the woman that took Heather. Heather's own natural mother is the kidnapper? How would you know where to find Heather? Mr. Ross? I'm afraid that's something you'll have to ask the adoption agency. I'm afraid that's something the adoption agency can't tell, but I think you can. Dennis, if you know anything at all about this, you better tell us now. Look, Mark. Let's get one thing straight. Whatever I did, I did for you and Donna. Now, I know how much you both love Heather. So... When her mother called me and said she wanted to buy back her baby or else she'd make trouble, I figured... Buy her back? What do you mean? You mean you bought Heather from her? Wait. I've already explained it to Sergeant Anderson. It was all very legitimate with everything arranged through a proper adoption agency. Didn't I tell you that, Sergeant Anderson? You told me, but you didn't tell me how she found out where Heather was. And that's something the adoption agency would never tell. Well, the day I talked to her, my files were rifled. How did she get into a locked office? It was at noon, and I was at lunch. Don't you have a secretary? Yes, and she was at lunch, too, with me. Believe me, I'm sorry about all of this. It's gotten way out of hand. Now, these two, with all their questions, what the hell are they doing for you? We've got a pretty good lead. We know where the child's natural father is. Well, yeah. Yeah, she was here just a little while ago. But she only came to say goodbye for good. Now, I think she might be heading back home by this time, you know, back to Arkansas, because she sounded pretty homesick, you know. Scott, you've been released this afternoon, aren't you? Well, that's right. I got 15 days off for good behavior. Look, you know that your wife is wanted for murder and kidnapping. Now, if you plan to meet her, if you get caught with her, you're going to end up right back here in the slammer. You know that, don't you? Oh, I know. Hell, I don't want no more part of this roach palace. 
Now, why would I want to take a chance like that? Just to see someone who don't particularly want to see me, huh? $10,000 could be a reason. The reward money for the return of the kidnapped baby. Hmm. Well, that's not reason enough for me. Some situations are a little unusual. Dinner's almost ready. Go wash your hands and face. A little strange. Oh, sure. I think your needle's stuck. But then perhaps they're all too familiar. Take your meat off the sofa. You can get up two colors, black and blue. Those are the colors you're going to be if you don't make up your mind. What's wrong? You're smiling. The charmer. Are you lonely like me? The companion. I'm your friend. I'm your Thanks. buddy. The odd couple. Weekdays at 10.30. I hate mess. Boy, I'm sure glad I don't have to live with you. <laughs> Fox Classics. Coles Great Low Prices don't stop just because it's Christmas. On anything from turkey, ham, prawns, Thanks. to oh, fruit mince pies, to rapid paper. And because Coles Price check over 5,000 products, you don't have to. So you have time to get on with all your last minute jobs. Oh, no. <laughs> Losing into your weekend mornings on Fox Classics. Weston Gordon, the unconquerable duo. A duo pragmatic and dynamic. What's your pleasure? Traversing the frontier country in search of truth, justice, and... A drink for now, I'll decide later. Starring Robert Conrad and Ross Martin. I've heard so much about your ingenious devices. Head to the wild, wild west. Then stay in your saddle. Chief Red Knight. Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. And head out on the range with James Arness and Dennis Weaver. Whoa! For a barrel of straight-shooting western adventures. Heard what I said, get moving. Classic westerns from 10 a.m. weekends on Fox Classics. Check out the building on foot? No. No, he could figure we're tailing him. His wife might be someplace else. Just hold tight. Well, I sure did miss you, little. <laughs> Mary Ann. <laughs> Sitting out there on that ocean. Hey, I'd sure miss little Jenny, too, if I'd gone for a while. And me? You'd miss me? <laughs> sure. Not as much. <laughs> but sure. Well, darling, I think we should get going, huh? Okay. Hey, uh, what's the hurry? I mean, you're welcome to stay here. If uh, two can sleep as neatly as one. Oh, well, actually, we was kind of thinking maybe we'd uh, get a little motel room down by the ocean tonight, you know? But we... won't you have a little wine and cheese before you leave? Sure. OK. <laughs> yeah, I think she's wet or worse. Oh, I'll change her. <laughs> Come on, honey. Honey. I'm just so happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honey, now go change her, huh?
You guys stay here. Car over in the garage got Arkansas plates. It's gotta be their car, right? You don't want us to move in, huh? No, not that we're sure she's up there. She and the baby. That's what we're interested in. Most of the baby. He must have followed me all the way from the ship. I parked out front there across the street. Now don't let him see you. They're probably just waiting for someone to peek out, figuring that's the apartment I'll be in. Hey, Scott. Hey, neither one's wearing a navy uniform. Uh, you know, nobody does on Liberty no more. That uh, one guy's a warrant officer. He's a real tough dude. He won't do anything drastic, will he? To the children, I mean. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just me. All they want's me and 50 bucks. Wow. Hey, uh, I wish we had the money to help you out, Scott, but, uh, hey, we just don't have that kind of bread. Oh, no, 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 please. Please don't make me feel any crummier than I do already. You two must think I'm awful, gambling away my paycheck and giving out IOUs. But I was hoping to win a little extra so I could buy something nice for Tammy and the baby, you know? Gee, I sure hate Tammy find out about my gambling on shipboard. You know, I promised her I wouldn't. And believe me, I learned my lesson. Oh, well, hey, why don't you just go down there, Scott? Reason with them. Tell them you pay them later. Oh, oh, no, no. Those two guys won't listen to reason. But I got me sort of an idea. Well, they're out. They're now entering the Arkansas place. Give us a second to get out of the alley and we'll take them. any more discussion. Can you positively identify the baby? Describe anything unusual about her. Look, I've had so many... Another crank call. All right, now, how well do you know the Swansons? We don't know them at all. We don't. What do you mean, you don't? We only met them yesterday. Then why are you wearing this jacket and hat? <laughs> he just got out of the Navy. Want to give him a break? He just got out of prison. What is that nice little girl doing with a man like that? That nice little girl is suspected of murder. Honey? Huh? We're heading for the beach? Nope. 
No. No, I thought, uh... Well, how did San Francisco strike you, huh? Honest? Uh-huh. San Francisco? Oh, wow. That strikes me just fine. I ain't never been to San Francisco. Oh. Oh. Look at her, honey. Ain't she just so pretty? Yeah, yeah. But is she, uh... Is she what? Well, perfect, you know. I mean, has she got six toes, huh? She got an extra eye in her belly there, huh? Anything of course like that, not, huh? silly <laughs> Willie. She's about the most perfect baby that ever was. Yeah. Aren't you, honey? You're perfect. Birthmark, maybe? Well, if you want to count that little, uh, angel kiss on her shoulder. Oh. She was kissed by a sweet little angel. <laughs> Where? Right here. See? Uh-huh. Yes. Birthmark, right shoulder, and remember, 15 grand. Yes. Now, look. I'll do anything you say. Just tell me. Be at the phone booth, corner Ridgeway and Country Terrace. Yes. And remember what I said, huh? If I spot a cop anywhere near, you'll never see the baby again. Next, Candace Bergen is Murphy Brown. Forever classic comedy, Fox Classics. Are you up for some weekend caper? Yes, Batman. Holy fireworks! Robin, you haven't fastened your safety back belt. We're only going a couple of blocks. Holy geography, of course. Robin, with your teeth. Holy ice You might have been killed. Or worse. Cats. A cat. Time. Batman Weekends at 4. I know to be safe with you on the job. Holy Frogman! Fox Classics. Hello, Dolly. Well, hello, Dolly. Oh, it's so nice to have you back. Where you belong? Jesus Christ, superstar. Do you think you're what they say you are? Oliver! Oliver! Never before has a boy wanted more. More? Jesus Christ. Great lyrics mean nothing without the sound of music. Just for more when he knows what's in store. Merry Musicals Week starts Monday, 8.30, Fox Classics. Bye-bye, Birdie. I'm going to miss your show. Read anything good lately? If you love news, interviews, program listings, competitions and special deals, we recommend your entertainment and listings guide. This month, we get into the festive spirit as three top chefs cook up an Aussie Christmas feast. Discover the history behind Australian icon towns. You could win a fishing trip with country music sensation Troy Casadaly. And of course, we have classic Christmas and holiday viewing all wrapped up. Your entertainment and listings magazine. Don't miss a thing. Don't think you should tell Pepper. Uh, he said no police. Mark, how can you trust a man like that? I couldn't. I'm Anyone that would take a reward for their own child. Look, Pepper warned me that it might happen. Well, then call her and tell I her. I said no. Honey, please, look. All we want is Heather, right? Now, we don't want to do anything to jeopardize her return here. Her safe return. All right, then I'm going with you. No, 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 please stay here, all right? No, no, I want to go. I want to take care of her. Let me just go get my coat. Roger. What else did she touch? Do you have any idea at all? Code 2 to call the Jensen house. Did she come to the glass table? Did you ever touch that? What about the stereo? Look, what Donna, it's me, Pepper. It? Yeah? And he said no police. We're taking the money to him now. No, no, I don't know where. Mark's leaving. It's going down now. Hmm. Stay with him, guys. Round route. Keep us posted along the way. Yeah, I hear you, Pip. You stick like glue.
Let's take the freeway, Bill, huh? It's faster. Yeah, mine's getting another left down here. Okay. Hello, this is Mark Jensen. Okay, you got those directions clear now? Read them back. Okay. Okay. And uh, no cops now. Otherwise, you know. No, no, no. I swear to you, I didn't call the police. Don't you bother your pretty little head now. We're less than a mile from you now. ETA about five minutes. They're heading toward the park. Roger. Now, didn't you say you wanted to live exactly like we did before? Yeah. Everything the same? Exactly? Yeah. Well, now, exactly means only two of us. No baby, just you and me. You're crazy. You can't leave her out here alone. You're fun of me, ain't you? Ah, uh, she won't be alone for long. Somebody's gonna pick her up. Somebody with $15,000 just for you and me so we can be free to do anything we want to. Without no baby to hold us back. You want to go back home? Okay, we'll go back. With 15 grand as a kicker. <laughs> man, oh man, how you can load it over all those people back there, huh? And that Beatrice made Jess, you remember? <laughs> Fifty-two to twelve fifty. Hey, Bill, we're at the spot of delivery. Scott Swanson's at the bottom of the hill, dead, and uh, the baby's going. Evidently, Tammy split with him. By the way, we passed a green station wagon with a single female blonde in. You better turn around and check her out. Okay. Roger.
after us now. Come! Well, then you're never gonna catch us. Then you're never gonna catch us.12 by 50 to 52. Come in, 52. Quiet, 12 by 50. Tell the Jensen's they can relax. We have the girl. The baby's safe. Roger. 